Yunelis Guzman of Cuba, third in the Pan American Junior Championships this year, and seventh at the Pan American Championships at the senior level. The 18-year-old will take on the United States veteran and bronze medalist in London in 2012, also a world champion in 2008. Chun originally from Hawaii, making your home in Morgantown, West Virginia, working on the staff of the West Virginia men's wrestling team for Sammy Henson and Company. But she's focused in on Guzman right now as these go toe to toe here in the first two, three minute period. And the one thing about Clarissa is she's, you know, very fast, very active the whole time, you know, in and out, moving positions, always trying to find an angle, find a, find a setup ultimately to get a, a basic takedown or a takedown that gets a little bit more. John in on the single leg, trying to gain control here and strike first against Guzman. And very, very strong, very powerful for, for Chun to be able to ultimately, you know, get in a position to get a takedown, almost a push out, but then have the ability to, you know, try to get an exposure. But that's where it's so smart, where, you know, Guzman has the ability to not get thrown hook and then, you know, get taken over now, you know, getting gut wrenched. And that's the thing is, is the old days, they used to have to gut wrench and then change to something else. But now if you can do three or four gut wrenches in a row, you can finish the match off in short time. So when you get taken down, you can't you know, let your guard down. You have to stay on point. You have to stay focused when you get taken down. So two for the takedown, and then two two-point gut wrenches. Suddenly, it's 6 nothing. Chun closing in on a possible early tech fall here against Guzman. Chun, in addition to her Olympic medal and world championship, four-time US Open champion. She's been third at the US Open the last two years, including a few weeks ago this season in Las Vegas. So she's been top three at the US Open 10 times. The first time she ever wrestled in a final at the US Open, 1999. Her current opponent was three years old. We've got different generations on the match here going toe to toe. And that's just kind of the longevity of, of you know wrestling. And it's good to see the, the older, the experienced athletes that's been around, you know, and that's the one thing is, you know, Clarissa's always had the ability to scrap with anybody, but then putting the physical and the technical and the mental together, you know, it's just kind of putting a whole bag. And, you know, you see Guzman here wanting to just kind of be a physical wrestler. I see, you know, establishing the head, getting in head position. You know, it really tries to slow down Clarissa. And then Guzman right there tried to get an underhook and, you know, Clarissa just sidestepped it and got her underhook and then, you know, looking for an angle. The 33-year-old veteran against the 18-year-old up-and-comer from Cuba, Cuba right now. The experience meeting the exuberance of youth. Six nothing the lead for Chun, final 30 seconds here opening period. And, you know, part of the idea is, is you know, if you can't beat him, you, you beat him up. And, you know, if you can't stick with him technically, you know, get into a, you know, kind of a physical fight where, you know, you make them get out of their slick and their smooth mentality, and you make it more of kind of a street brawl. And that's kind of what uh, Guzman wants to do, is make a little bit more of a physical match instead of a technical. And that's where I think Clarissa has the big advantage is that real technical ability from all the years of international experience. First period is through. And a half dozen point lead for Clarissa Chun. Went to Roosevelt High School in Honolulu, Hawaii. Certainly achieving great things at the world level and that Olympic experience in London in 2012. And again, active here early, not only getting the takedown, but then turning it into more points. And with Clarissa, Clarissa with that first takedown, getting the, the two-point takedown, and always looking for more, you know, went to possibly a, a cradle position, couldn't get it, and then ultimately was looking for a, a big throw, couldn't get the throw, so finishes it up with some gut wrenches, and ultimately just real good technical wrestle in that first period. Even though you're wrestling a, a, a younger wrestler, you know, you can't take anything for, you know, for granted here, and Clarissa's, you know, changing levels just right. She's actually wrestling very smart, you know, for a very veteran wrestler. And she's got something to prove as well. We mentioned her third place finish at the US Open. She was beaten by two-time world medalist Alyssa Lampy of the United States at the Open. Able to earn third position, but again, trying to get herself ready as all the wrestlers are for the World Team Trials coming up here in a few weeks with the opportunity to win a spot on Team USA and represent the United States at the World Championships. 
Of course, it's especially important this year with the Worlds being held in Las Vegas later on coming up in September. And you look at an athlete in their career and you kind of, you take a snapshot of it or you to look at the, the longevity of a career and you never know when your time's up, but if you still have the ability and the fire's still there, why not, you know, keep competing? Because even though, you know, you're old and, you know, a lot of people think that you're worn out and you can't do it, but there's nothing like that. And that's kind of the gunslinger attitude of a veteran wrestler. And everybody always, you know, always talked about when I was coming up, oh, what guy's gonna come out of retirement trying to make that Olympic team? And, I think Clarissa is one of the athletes that you really got to think has an opportunity. Even though you're wrestling a world medalist, she still has the fire. She still has the technical ability. She, she's not really forcing herself in this match. And that's just so important to be patient. She could try to force something to get taken down, but to be able to be ahead and, and patient is a, is a thing that comes because of time. Something else to enthuse you is the opportunity to wrestle with this experience here in New York City. Crowd, teammates looking on, passers-by getting to check out some top-flight Olympic wrestling. It's the sixth straight year major international style wrestling has been held in New York City. Fourth time here in Times Square. The U.S. has faced Russia a couple times, 2011 and 2012. Last year here in Times Square, they beat a world all-star team. The U.S. in Cuba right now. Cuba on the board, Guzman able to get a two back against Chun, but trying to work back at the final 40 second stretch of this bout. And that was just, Guzman had an opportunity to be taken down there, but she wasn't giving up, wasn't giving up, and ultimately turned the technique back on Clarissa, who ultimately gave up the two point takedown, and with short time, 30 seconds left, you know, Guzman's gonna try to come back with the flurry. She's gotta do something fast to try to get some points back to get back in this match. Can the youngster get something done on Chun? Uh-uh, Clarissa able to zoom in, crank down another takedown to make it 8-2 and wrap things up. And that was more of a mental battle than anything. You know, Clarissa saying at the end of the match, you know, I just got taken down. You know what, I'm not gonna let the match finish this way and just, you know, score by losing those last two points. And so Clarissa came back, established herself, got two point takedown, now happy with it. Or even, you know what, I'm gonna go out, take one last attempt at the end of the match and, you know, make sure that you know that I beat you. And not just beat you barely, but I actually physically beat you. So an 8-2 decision for the 2012 Olympic bronze medalist, Clarissa Chun, competing here, 48 kilograms, 105 and a half pounds. Chun of Team USA, able to post the victory for the Americans.